I'm just gonna say it. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Stop calling yourself an aspiring writer. I mean, what even... What is an aspiring writer? How can you aspire to write? You don't really aspire to write. You either write or you don't write. I see it all the time on Instagram. I see it on TikTok and Twitter and, uh, and the lot. And, you know, you get people calling themselves, you know, in their bios or their descriptions or whatever it is. They call themselves an aspiring writer, aspiring author, aspiring poet, aspiring filmmaker. Why? Why are you underselling yourself? Why are you undermining yourself? It's sort of like telling someone, you know, I'm a dabbler. And there's nothing wrong with being a dabbler. Of course you're allowed to like different mediums of things and, and different hobbies and have different interests and, and do a bunch of different things rather than putting all of your eggs in one basket. Nothing wrong with it. But I think there's this tendency that we have especially now in the 21st century, there's this tendency to let yourself be overwhelmed by imposter syndrome, self-doubt, etc, etc. But, in actual fact, if you write, you're a writer. You're not an author. You're not a published author. But you are a writer. You are doing the thing. Even if you're only doing it once a week or once a month, you are still a writer. Maybe you do a lot of other things. Maybe you have a day job. Maybe you work as a chef. As a lawyer, you work in childcare, you're a teacher. But that doesn't mean you can't be a writer. That doesn't mean that just because you do something on the side that you aren't it. You are a painter if you paint things. You are a filmmaker if you work towards making films. You don't have to have finished a film. You don't have to have released a film. You don't have to have sold a painting. You don't have to have been published in a journal or a magazine, or a book. You don't have to have published a book to be a writer. I feel like this is just a misconception. I think people believe that you have to be successful to be worthy of calling yourself a writer. But I don't think this is true. I think that's looking at it the wrong way. And it's doing you a disservice. By calling yourself an aspiring writer, you're not taking yourself seriously. No one else is going to take you seriously either. Maybe you don't want to be taken seriously and that's, that's fine. You're still a writer. You don't aspire to write. You don't sit there going, oh boy, I'd love to write one day. Maybe one day I'll write. Now, if I had to define an aspiring writer, I would say that would be the definition. That's what that looks like. But if you're working on something, you know, you write short stories, you're at poetry, you're working on a novel, no one's seen it yet, you've never finished it, you can't even get past the first couple of chapters. You are working on a piece of writing. You are writing. You are doing the act of sitting down and whether it's typing, whether it's handwritten, whether you use a typewriter, like I do sometimes, you are in the process of, or the act of writing. That is what writing is. And it seems to me that would make you a writer. No one's calling you a talented writer. No one's saying you're a good writer. But you are a writer because you're doing it. It doesn't make you an author because an author is someone who has published a book. An author is someone who has a book like me. I suppose you could call me an author because I have published a book. But before I published a book, I was still a writer. I wasn't just nothing and then I was an author. I was a writer. I wasn't an aspiring writer. I was a student doing my master's degree in publishing and writing uh, and I think that made me a writer. I was doing writing related activities. I was helping other people publish their works in magazines and anthologies. Um, I was actively working on a manuscript. I was writing poetry. I was doing my street poetry around the city. Now because I wasn't published, does that mean I wasn't a writer? No. I don't even think I was writing every day. I would write most days, but not every day. And um, I think it's quite sad that people are undermining themselves. They're really showing the world without realizing that uh, that they're not very confident about their work. And I think I think that itself is also a bit of a mistake because you know you can be confident in one moment and then you can lose confidence. I wouldn't even say I'm always confident in my own work, even as it's going to print to be honest, because you grow so fast, you learn so fast, but what do you do? Just accept that you're not worthy enough of being a writer until you decide 
that you're worthy? Where is this invisible bar that you have to hit before you're a writer? I don't see any bars. Uh, the way I understand it, you're a writer if you write, and it's pretty much as simple as that. It's not scary being a writer, it's not scary calling yourself a writer, and you can be a writer in many other things as well, like I said. You can be a chef as a day job, you can be a full-time parent and a writer on the side, but you're still a writer. You can write for five minutes a day while you're waiting for your kids to get ready for school. You're a writer. You're writing. You're working on something. I think it's really disappointing that so many people identify as this sort of vague, aspiring writerness. I just, I'm just, I just don't get it. I just don't think that that is going to be beneficial in your journey into becoming an author or becoming a full-time writer or a, or a part-time writer or someone who actually releases their works. I just don't think calling yourself an aspiring writer, even if you're only a student in writing and you don't have all of your skills yet and you're still learning about the tools of the trade, um, that's you're still a writer. You're learning the skills, you're practicing and experimenting with the skills. Writers do that too. Writers are always learning and experimenting. I don't think there's ever a bar that you reach uh, where you go, right, fantastic, I'm a writer now, I did it, I'm a writer, how did I, how did I get here? Here I am and I now I'm a writer, that, that, it's silly, you've got to see that that's silly, that there's, that that's just not how this, this game works, the writer game. You're either a writer or you're not a writer, so drop the aspiring writer, start calling yourself a writer today and watch. You start taking yourself a little more seriously. I'm a writer, and writers write. And other people will start taking you seriously as well. I'm sorry, did you just say you're a writer? Well, dude, that's crazy. What do you write? I don't exactly remember when I first started calling myself a writer. I don't believe it ever really occurred to me to call myself an aspiring writer. I've been writing since I was quite young. I was, you know, writing stories at five, six, seven, eight years old. And even then I knew I wanted to be a writer. Um, and at that age, I suppose, I wasn't calling myself a writer. I was just someone who, uh, who wanted to write and was actively writing, but I was a writer. I was a writer at that age. Perhaps all of those stories I wrote when I was eight years old are lost, but it doesn't mean that they weren't written, that I didn't write them and that I wasn't a writer. I think I, I think I seriously, I started taking writing more seriously when I was about 12 because by this point I was calling myself a writer. I was working on a zombie apocalypse story that never went anywhere in the end after about eight years writing it. It's, it's bizarre. But I was calling myself a writer at this time and I remember in school people would ask what I got up to, you know, what video games did I play, all of that. And I didn't really do any of that stuff. I didn't really play too many video games or, or even, to be honest with you, I didn't really even socialise with people too much until I think I was about 17 or 18. I was Before then I was a bit of a homebody who preferred to... I think I just preferred to consume literature and try and write it myself. So I was a writer. This was my lifestyle. It's what I did. And from calling myself a writer at that age, you know, people would ask who I was and I would tell them, I'm a writer, I am a writer, I do write stuff, and they would ask what I was working on, and I would try and explain it to them, and they probably didn't understand, and I probably didn't understand either. Um, but I was working on something, I was writing something, and I was a writer. Uh, until I think I was about 16, when it really hit me how seriously I wanted to take it, and I started making my plans to get into university, to study professional writing and editing, to study publishing, to study creative writing, uh, screenwriting and so on, I, I did a bit of that. I started taking it most seriously in university, you know, age 17, age 18, but by this point I had already been calling myself a writer for several years, so everyone treated me pretty seriously when I met them. They all knew I was a writer and I wrote things. And I, I don't think it was that hard. I think it's just unfortunate when you can't be confident in your own ability. And so you resort to, you know, these terms like aspiring writer. The word aspiring changes the word writer. You're not a writer, you, you are suddenly yearning to do an activity. When you could just simply do the activity and that would solve the whole issue. It would be quite clear what you are. You would meet people, they would ask you what you are, and you would say you're a writer, or you could say, I'm this and I'm also this. 
I'm a teacher and I'm a writer. I'm a builder and I'm a writer. Or I'm a writer and I'm a builder. And I just can't see it doing you any favours calling yourself an aspiring writer. I just think it's a it's a misuse of a word and it's a doing yourself a disservice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk away from this video and if you've got aspiring writer in your bio, you're dropping that word. Aspiring, be gone, under the rug, gone. You're now a writer and that does put a little bit of pressure on you because, well, now you're a writer, which means there's just one thing that you have to do. You gotta write. You've just gotta sit down and write. To support my writing, follow me on Instagram at Jaden Poetry and consider subscribing to this channel. Have a great day.